Psalm 91 is one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. The entire chapter is about the protection we're offered as children of God if, if we dwell in His presence. One Bible commentary I read on this chapter said, If Jehovah be our God, our refuge, and our fortress, what can we desire which we may not be sure to find in Him? He is neither fickle nor false, neither weak nor moral. He is God and not man, and therefore there is no danger in being disappointed in Him. We know whom we have trusted. And that really helps to build my faith and give me a supernatural confidence. So would you stand in agreement with me? Would you lift your faith in expectation that God is like no other and He will be our protector? Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. I want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy upon my life. I thank you, Lord, for being in my life. You are the Lord God Almighty, the great I am. I say that you are my refuge, you are the chief cornerstone, and I choose to trust in the true and living God. You provide me with the shelter from life's storms, from life's difficulties. I speak the blood of Jesus upon each and every member of my family for protection and preservation of life. I decree and declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against me and my loved ones. Lord, I commit myself and my family into your hands in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus upon each and every doorpost of my home, upon each and every window post of my home for protection in the name of Jesus Christ. May your pillar of fire be seen where my family and I abide every night. Lord, you have said you will not allow sickness and disease to come near me. I therefore declare that sickness and disease are far from me. I pray that you protect me and my family from everything we cannot see that tries to harm us. No demon from hell, no unclean spirit, no generational curses, no misfortune will touch me or my family because of you, God. I pray you will protect me and my loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the name that was given power above all names, your word in Psalms 91 says, you will protect me from the terror by night, the arrow that flies by day. And I receive that promise. I believe that you are faithful to your word. Heavenly Father, I come to you seeking refuge and protection. I come to you in recognition of your great might and power. I worship your holy name, Lord. I adore you, Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for clothing me in a robe of righteousness, which covers me head to toe because of the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shed for me. And I know that it is in you that I live it's in you that I move and have my existence. I surrender my life, my children, and my loved ones into your caring hands. You are a God full of compassion. I pray for your hand of protection upon me and my family. Encompass us, Lord God Almighty, with your wall of fire. Surround me and my family with your hedge of protection. Your blood is living and it's powerful. Lord, you are a shield and a defense. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Do not let me stumble, O Lord. Overthrow the plans and the plots of my enemies and help me to overcome in the name of Jesus. 
Fight my battles, Lord, as you have promised in your word. You said in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray that you defend me and my family and let us hold our peace. I pray that we're going to stand still to see the hand of God move in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, that we will stand and testify and say, had it not been for the Lord, we would have been consumed. You are God who moves mountains. And regardless of the things happening around us, regardless of the things going on in this world, you are our protector, our keeper, our redeemer. Regardless of what may come, you are still on your throne and you are still a good God who will never leave us nor forsake us. You are a God who brings peace in troubled times. Now, Lord, for my life, take all the glory. For my family, my children, take all the glory. For my health, take all the glory, Lord. For my protection, take all the glory. For all that I am, take all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I ask that you look over us. I ask that you watch over us. You are the Alpha and the Omega. There is none like you, Lord. We seek refuge in your presence. Make a way, Lord Jesus, where there seems to be no way. In this situation that we face, we look to you as our deliverer, as our saviour. Be with us God, you are the great shepherd. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Fight this battle for me Lord. Fight this battle for my family. Father I pray that your light surrounds us. May your love cover us and may your power protect us. In your presence I know there is safety. In whatever we do, Lord Jesus, as your children, wherever we go, order our steps, Lord. Go before us. Go before us in protection, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Although we are uncertain of what the days may bring, you, Lord Jesus, know our beginning and our end. And we trust that you will be a faithful God to deliver us when we call upon your name. You know what awaits us tomorrow. So I take comfort, Lord, because you are a loving God. Lord, as it says in your word, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. You will keep me from all harm and you will watch over my life. May your presence continue to be known in my life so that my soul may know that all things are possible with you and in your name. And your word gives me the assurance that you are a good God, a refuge in the time of trouble and you care for all those who trust in you. And I declare that I place my trust in you, the God of the heavens, the God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. Your peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds, even as we believe for divine protection. Your word says that you will give your angels charge over me. I will stand on your word, your word that says a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. And even if we are hard pressed on every side, we are not crushed. Even though we may be perplexed, we are not in despair. We may be persecuted, 
but we are not forsaken. Struck down but not destroyed, those are the promises of your word and we stand on them today. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Amen.